It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB but but Family. Alright, thank you, French. The Secret Time Australian special farewell performance. All five verses. What the hell does that mean? All five verses. What are you sending me, French? Let's get it. Let's go. I come from the dream time From the dusty red soil plains Yo, the beat already? That, or not the, yeah, I guess you would call it the beat, but what is that? The What is that? I come from the dream time From the dusty red soil plains I am the ancient heart, the keeper of the flame. I stood upon the rocky shore, I watched the yeah. tall ships come. For 40,000 years I've been the first Australian. Oh, okay. I came upon the prison ship, bowed down by iron chains. I also, is this gonna be? Is this an actual? Is this an actual like the real history of Australia? Is this gonna be kind of a history lesson for me? Cause that's cool. I mean, his voice is phenomenal. Um, but I think, cause I don't know much about Australia. I, like, I I really don't know anything about Australia. Except the only thing I ever knew about Australia before you started sending me stuff, French, uh, was that anything I just heard like politically as of lately. That was like all I ever knew about Australia was it's becoming more like woke out there. <laughs> that was that was it. That's all I ever knew. And then I got um, and then someone requested me a song. My first Australian song I ever did was. To a band called the Lily Pillies, which is they actually were in the chat, which is cool. They they hated my reaction. They didn't like my reaction to their song, even though I liked their song. I just didn't like their video because it was a, a really woke video. So I didn't agree with a lot of the stuff in the video. But I liked the song. And I actually like gave the whole song credit. But that's for another topic. But that's all I ever knew about Australia. Now I started to see they got like some fire artists especially with rap and now you're sending me these amazing singers as well you actually sent me another one too he was i forgot his name but he was really really good for forty thousand years i've been the first australian i came upon the prison ship Bowed down by iron chains I fought the land, endured the lash And waited for the rains I'm a settler, I'm a farmer's wife On a dry and barren run A I'm convict, a wife. then okay. a free man I became Australian Wait I'm a I'm a farmer's wife, so I thought when he said I'm a farmer's wife, I thought and then right after he said I'm a free man, so I don't care. I know we've been having these talks about the whole like woke stuff lately. This is this is not has anything to do with that, okay? This this is not going that route. I'm just confused in the story now because I, I thought I don't know if this is a man or a woman that been story right now. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or it might be a gay man story. I, I'm just trying to figure out what the story is about because I feel like I just said this is gonna be like a history lesson. I'm just trying to understand. I the bought story. the land, endured the lash, and waited for the rains. I'm a settler, I'm a farmer's wife on a dry and barren run. Also, a convict, he... then a free man, I became Australian. I'm 
Before he gets into it, I love the way that they put the, like when when he started singing with her voice, as well when they did the duet together, that was phenomenal, and yeah, so I get the whole gist of it now, and yeah, it still is about the same thing. So what I take, because again, when I was talking about that, uh, there was a band called the Lily Pillies, and they're all, it's an Australian band, an older band as well, um. I love the song. And the only thing that threw me off that they didn't like about my reaction was the video itself. That actually happened to me in a 1OK Rock song, too. I like the song um, uh, Renegade from 1OK Rock. And if I didn't watch the video, I wouldn't even know I, I'd love the song. But when I watched the video, I didn't agree with the video for the most part. And it was that same type of thing that happened with the Lily Pillies one. But the song that I really enjoyed, I bring that up because it's talking kind of literally about the same thing that this song is talking about too. They were talking about like coming together, being one, and it's be, it's it's seeming to be more of like an Australian trend that I'm uh, I only know from these reactions. So is that like a major thing in Australia? Uh, is that like a major thing? Is like unity a big, big thing? And no, I don't mean like the DEI unity. I just mean like unity as coming together as one. Is that is that like a big theme in Australia? And also, this must have been a big theme for a while because these artists are older right now um that are singing and the lily pillies was an older band they had to be in their late 40s or 50s i mean it wasn't like a young it wasn't 18 year old 16 year old kids out here they were older so this must have been an ongoing thing the lands on Africa, we'll share a dream and sing with one I'm a teller of stories, I'm a singer of songs, I am Albert Namajur, and I paint the ghostly guns, I'm Clancy on his horse, I'm Ned Kelly on the run, I'm the one who wants Matilda, I am Australia.
That's cool. I didn't know he was sitting there playing. Is that that's a cello? That's a cello, right? Uh, you guys told me that the warning actually, the warning fans told me about what that is. Um, but no, okay, I know exactly what this song is about. That song is it's just Australian pride. It's it's a whole Australian pride song. And again, not in the DEI pride way. It's it's an it's a just prideful of where they're from. It's like, it's like a courtesy of the red, white, and blue being from America. So that's just a big shout out to Australia. I, I was thinking so many, I thought it was an actual story at first. I thought it was, you guys know, you guys just all watched the reaction. You guys got to see what I went through. But what I, what made me realize exactly what this song is verbatim with the Australian pride aspect of it was when was uh Greg when Greg so I appreciate that Greg this is why I love doing reactions live um when Greg said I'm a dingo I'm a crocodile I'm a kangaroo all Australian get it that's what made me got it see sometimes it takes other people to make you realize it and you were the one that made me realize that. So I appreciate that, Greg. Because that makes a lot of sense. Which kangaroos are one of my favorite animals. And I actually just took my daughter to the zoo the other day. Uh, but there was no kangaroos. And I'm pissed because they charged me for, for the Detroit Zoo. Okay. That first off doesn't even have a lot of animals as it is. That's why I like going to the Toledo Zoo. But we weren't going to go all the way out there. And it was kind of cold that day. And I mean, yeah, it was the beginning of, was it March still or was it the end of February? I think it was, or yeah, because it's the 18th. It, it was like on the 6th or the 7th of March. So like two weeks ago. And all we got to see was the penguins, which are my favorite animals. The penguins, we got to see snakes. We got to see some crocodiles, some reptiles. Oh, we didn't, and we got to see a lion. Oh, we didn't get to see the zebras or the kangaroos or the damn, what else were we missing? All the Australian, all the uh, exotic animals, the Australian animals were missing. And I want, my daughter really wanted to see the zebras and there was no zebras. So thank you, French, for that reaction. I appreciate that. That's cool. I feel like every country should have a, a prideful song about them. They should have that song. In America, we should cherish songs like Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue more than it usually is, you know? But, again, but I feel like every country should have their own. Everyone should be prideful of where they came from. I'm a huge believer in that.